Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get an overlay for your frames per second and other information on your Steam Deck when you're playing games. So at any point in time, you can see your current frames per second and you can change up the FSR or any kind of other settings for that. So I'm in Rocket League right now. I'm just going to press the button with the three little dots on it on the right side and open up this little quick menu and we can scroll on down. And we want to go to where it says performance. Performance overlay level. So this is what off is, number one. I don't know if it's showing up somewhere on here. I don't see anything for the stats. Actually, in the top left, right where ball reset is, I can see um, just a quick little uh, number. It says 52 right there. Then I got number two. I can see a lot more information. Everything's a little bit too small for me to see. And then here's some more information. And boom, this is kind of like your standard kind of like FPS thing when you watch a YouTube video. Shows it right there. Now, you might want to scroll on down under here once you have this set up until we get to like uh, the scaling filter. And you can turn on linear, pixel, FSR, or NIS. And then you can change the sharpness for that right here. Might help it look a little bit better on your screen. And you might get some FPS differences between those different settings, depending on how you want it to look. So I think number two for the overlay is the best for me just in this game because I have all that information, the text right there from playing Rocket League. And then I can go through here, turn on FSR. And I can see the difference between the frames per second. And so it seems like linear and pixel are the best for me, but then I don't get any sharpen on here at all. So if I'm willing to go down in some uh, FPS, you know, 60 is fine for me. I can increase the sharpness on my screen for the game here. So I'll just make the screen that's, you know, it's a small screen, but you can get rid of all those like little jaggy lines and stuff uh, by adding a little bit of sharpness there. But hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.